what you want cause the pirate is free You are a pirate You are a pirate You are a pirate This is something I do with new pirates, but Yeah I'll underwrite it for now I'll, I'll do whatever modifications you need To just get it squibbed You pay nothing now you owe me 150% of the squibbing cost that you can pay in installments moving forward. Uh, boy, that sounds like a good way to get bankrupt for the rest yeah, of the game. I, I recommend a somewhat sizable chunk of change. You weird. I wonder where you uh, got uh, it from. <laughs> enough to pay 150% of the squibbing fee? Well, Not enough to pay 150%. What would the advantage be just We would need a out. lot of villages to be enslaved yeah, to pay to, that off. Well, you don't need to beggar yourself immediately. You can hold on to some cash now that you could possibly invest in upgrades on the ship. I don't oh, well, have a lot of basically. reason for all this. You would just owe him one third of whatever plunder you get for a while until you paid off. So if you got like, if you like robbed another ship and got like three points of plunder, you would just owe him one of those until you paid off. And you would just need to pay three points of plunder. That's not unreasonable, I guess. That's not bad. Yeah. It's pretty nice of it. Really mean, nice of a guy who's businesses with pirates. That means we'd have to keep going. Yeah, can I do an inside check on him and make sure that he's, like, legit? Sure. Like, he's Did you follow him back up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is going on? If his breath doesn't kill you, he will. That means we have to keep coming back. I think we could... As just, captain, I'd like to we roll like an insight like as well. Once, though, with all you guys would we'll just have to come back, like, once a month or so to show whatever progress you're making on paying it off. Hopefully we get a good enough haul so we can just do it in one big shit trip. Oh, shit. Mm. Nothing like a, a 14. Okay. Personal. Seems truthful about what he's saying. Sincere about what he's saying. Okay. This is just how he does business. He's not trying to. It doesn't seem like this is anything odd. Okay. And as far as you know about this sort of situation, this isn't super out of the ordinary. Okay. The advantage is that you guys don't spend everything now and you maintain good relationship with him by having to come back. Because if you want any sort of modification on this, this ship. Is, this is it, this is pretty much where you're going to have to come from. Yeah. Which also means it's a bad idea to piss him off. So yeah. let's not piss this guy off. So how much do we want to... Well, why don't you get, okay, like, yeah. a... Let's take him on his deal, and then we'll just see what yeah. the modifications run we'll us. Yeah. Modifications and we'll pay the modifications off now, and we'll do okay. that general big expensive part later. That way we still have some money. Yeah. All right. Because I feel like we're going to need to... We're, we're, we still need a crew. Yeah. I can only bully people for so long the crew before they get to get paid. I guess we didn't get paid, and we overtook them. It generally assumes that when you do pirating and you like acquire plunder, um, whatever whatever pirating you do, uh, one point of plunder goes to the crew. We go like, rob a fishing ship, and you would only get one point of plunder. You guys don't personally make anything, but to keep the crew happy. If you rob something and get two points of plunder, one, one point crew, goes to the crew. Go to this guy then. That covers um, their actual wages. It also covers um, whatever food and supplies you would have to pick up to keep the ship keep going. going. Yeah. Okay. So it's pretty self efficient. It's pretty self sustaining. We just need to do a lot of little piracy to begin with, so we can pay off our captain. We see about them modifications. What? Uh, two. Well, I mean, we gotta pay the crew and get the squibbings. Like, we don't want to go against a man of war right off the bat. Yeah, but we don't want to, you know, like rob a dinghy full of fish. Hey, our it's operation is starting small. Oh, it's run by fish. <laughs> okay. I tell you, we need those grindy So in alphabetical order, you can put, um, give yourself additional crew quarters, so you can have more, um, like increases your, uh, like the number of crew you can have on board. You get armor plating, uh, which increases the defense. You can get a better rudder, which gives you better um, sailing checks, concealed mm -hmm. weapon supports, extended keels, figurehead, a glass bottom to the ship, <laughs> increased cargo capacity, a magically treated control device, um, a magically treated hull, a magically treated oars. These seem really expensive. <laughs> magically yeah. treated sails, a movable deck. Um, so the features of the ship's decks are designed to be moved in order to disguise the ship as an altogether different vessel. That's, um, so you can that's slide the cool. stern castle forward on hidden rails, rearrange the position of the mast, extend the gunwales, lower the poop deck, transfer the ship's wheel. Well, they 
the other ship wouldn't recognize us. Jesus, this ship's a... You can make this ship a frickin' transformer. Yeah. It's yeah. a narrower hull. You can put a yeah. battering ram on Marco the front. possess the ship, and then he can you know, rapid deploy sails. <laughs> yep, silken sails. <laughs> smuggling compartments. A sturdier hull. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, maybe smuggling, but... So the smuggling compartments... Um, well, you're just modifying, he's, he's he would just modify the bulkhead um, so Not the yet. gaps would serve as hidden cargo capacities. So it would just be like a five foot by five foot by five foot hidden space. Yeah. They would need like a DC 20 perception check to find, but it's enough to hold um, a, like two two of these smuggling compartments are enough to hold one point of plunder. Mm-hmm. Okay, it might not be on a what bad is, idea if we get really yeah. good plunder. Uh, how fast is this ship? Not. Fastest warship. Yeah. The wormwood caught us pretty quick. Caught it pretty quickly. I mean, yeah, you're a you're the merchant ship. So you're not yeah. the fastest. Yeah. Yeah. You can speed. move. Uh, ten miles per hour. So in combat, you can move thirty feet. You can accelerate up to sixty feet. Um, when you're not moving within with wind, if the wind is with you, you can move up to ninety feet per turn. So you're about average. <laughs> there, about there are average. going to be ships that are faster than yours. Of course not. I think a good investment for us would be to get a fast ship. Yeah. Fast ship and... Which is means skip the Either a fast ship or... Fast ship or a strong ship. Something fast ship we wouldn't need as many crew members. But You'd also be able to hold less plunder. Yeah. yeah. Right now, you guys' only ma- methods of attacking are two light ballistas, which are mounted on the back of the ship... Hmm. Press it. And ramming. And any ship can ram. It's just putting the ram, like, modifying the ram on front means you don't take damage and you deal more damage. So maybe we modify our attacking. Because we're not too terribly so, because we're, we're not going after, like, warships. We're going after other slow moving merchant vessels. Maybe. <laughs> That's where most of the loot's going to be. Can we add cannons? Yep. Yeah, we can buy. Additional, um, bounty additional weapons. Weaponry. Weaponry. You guys are not going to be able to buy a new ship for a while. Yeah. So, to make the best of it. Like buying a long ship is 10,000 gold. <sighs> Sailing ship like the one you have is worth 10,000. You could get a keel boat for 3 grand. That's only got a max speed of. 30 feet. So that would be slower. You get a galley for 30k. <laughs> then you can move up to 120 feet with the wind. Yeah. Galley. Not terrible. Marco, you wanted artillery, right? Yeah, we might as well look into it. You got ballistas, catapults. Corpus. No idea. Smells like release the prisoners. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, so the Corvus is like a rotatable crane on top of the boat that you would like manipulate around to like latch onto another boat. Oh, <laughs> that's we wanted. That's kind of cool. Kind of. We don't have to be too, We just have to get close uh, enough to grab. So there's what's called a fire drake, which is just big siege engines that fire gouts of alchemists' fire in okay. a sixty foot line. All right. Uh, I want it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I don't know what it costs, and I imagine it's a lot, but Dino doesn't want it, but Mel wants it. There's <laughs> also the springle, which is a torsion crank to composite paddle okay. that's like you trigger it and it just fires multiple arrows like big ballista bolts mm. that just rain down we, we gotta be careful with the alchemist fire because we still want the loot on the enemy ship <laughs> or the ship itself to sell it yeah. <laughs> so one use of that fire drake thing costs 200 gold <laughs> Jesus <laughs> one use <laughs> is 200 gold so that's a little out of our price range Imagine installation for now so guys, we, 
The Fire Drake also costs 4000 to install. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I would recommend smuggling departments for now, because you yeah. want to hold on to the money you have. That's what I was thinking. Um, so do you, what do you want to do after that? Because that, that's the advantage of taking the delayed payment with Rickety, is that you can put that money into modifications now to help you get plunder better. Mm. I say we just go with smuggling and just call it The good. broad rudder might be useful for you. Because um, it's plus one sailing checks. Yeah. That too. That would cost 500. The. How many compartments do we have? Uh, smuggling compartments? You can put yeah. as many as you want. How they each cost ready? 500. So if we get two so that we can hold one extra plunder, we're a plus the runner, we're at 1500. Yeah, I think that's good. For that's now. not a terrible yeah. start. So I we'll guess we'll probably do that. Oh. And that's just modifications. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing? Oh. Two, two smuggling compartments. Yeah, and that's serious now. And uh, then the, the rudder. rudder. You want the rudder? Okay, so we're paying 1500 Do you want to just pay that raw cash? Do we want to sell him valuables? We have a bunch of like silver ingots that just kind of yeah we do yeah we do have a we, we have, have a lot of shit we're not like gonna use but lots of could be worth some stuff. stuff. Like, I don't know about you. Shit. Yeah, we could sell some. Also, do you use weapons? Yeah. Yeah. He will buy. Like so if it's not sword. physical cash, mm -hmm. he will buy it at up to fifty percent of its normal value. Oh. I am willing to pitch in some money here. Who else here is willing to just pitch in money? I have sure. under 400. I have less than blood. I have under 200. I'm not willing. Okay, I am the only person here with money. Yeah. Well, there's the ship's funds. There's the ship's funds. There is the ship's funds. How much money ship's does the ship have? Not a terrible amount, actually. A lot more than Glenn thinks. But still. Yeah, no, but still. I did not see where this price is. It's under possessions. It's technically under his plunder right now, but one plunder is worth a, uh, a thousand gold. Oh, so so you literally just have two thousand gold sitting around that was in the captain's yeah. quarters. So if it's only fifteen hundred, why not just use the two thousand we have sitting around as our initial investment, and then we call that good? You spend all two thousand of it on. Upgrades? I mean, that's up to the cap, but I think our grand total was only 15, right? So far, yeah. yeah. So probably not. I don't think we're going to give him a $500 tip, but that's just me. Hold on. Well, we could save 500 and just have it just in case. That's what I'm saying. So some, some upgrades are just like 500 Most of them are like a percentage of the base cost of the ship. So like 10%, 15%. Your base cost of the ship right now is 10,000 gold. So like 20% is 2,000. The RAM uh, would cost 300 gold. If you do an extra 2D points of damage with a ramming maneuver, ignore the damage. It's not the captain. It's up to you guys what you want to do. Well, okay. captain. <laughs> I say let's just get the rudder and the two storage spaces. Yeah, I think we'll just stick squibs, with that. Then use the ship's funds to pay, to pay it up front. And then we'll start making our monthly yeah. payments. Also, and then we can go to a different place where we could probably get a better when we go like, get crew. Pawn shop, basically. <laughs> then we get more crew. Then we start loot piling. Let's go anywhere where and okay, so your ship is currently going to be worth, like after the repairs, um, ship is going to be worth 11500 hmm. Not bad. Ah, Marco, back to our smuggling days. Now we're taking the more direct approach. Okay, so we only have 500 left, um, so no plunder, just... Just I think we're just using straight up coinage. Yep. 
So the ship's bank currently has 500 gold in it. Yep. Not terrible. Cool. All right. You guys are going to... Uh, Rickety's going to say, all right, sounds good. Um, pull your ship into the dock and uh, we'll get started on it. You guys can use the uh, crew stayover quarters um, for the officers at least. We don't have enough room for your regular crew. They're going to have to stay on the ship or camp out or something, but there's plenty of room here. Sounds good. He's going to say, welcome to my cove. We are welcomed. Into the cove. Into <laughs> the cove. Might as well. Cool. That's my job as the quartermaster. I mean, yeah. Negotiate deals. Yeah, Mel was doing all the haggling for prices. Would you, did you want to actually, like, See if you can work him down on that price of, like, how much yes. it's going to be worth? I mean, yeah. if you could. Uh, would you be opposed? Anyone, anyone opposed to Mel trying to save I do us? a bit of, a bit of haggling. A bit of haggling. Mm -hmm. It was like, back in my day, we haggled with money. It's an old salt who has done a lot of ships in his days and is not impressed with your sweet words. Well, I appreciate doing business with you nonetheless. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, you tried. I tried. I didn't think it was gonna. I didn't think it, it was, was gonna work. I, like got, I gotta practice a bit. It was probably like a DC of thirty. Probably. <laughs> Oh, you were almost correct. Oh, and uh, oh, yeah. just so we're clear on everything, I don't tend to deal well with uh, people that try and go back on making deals with me. So Don't worry. We don't deal well with that either. Just saying, old Ricky maintains his business out here by being discreet, but I interact with a lot of people. Oh, yeah, sure. I can let a lot of people know yeah. where that shit well, came from. We get like, nice officer's rooms. We don't make it our business to go back on deals either. That's right. Excellent. We're an honor. We're going to get along just fine. Pirates. I think so. We are a virtuous group of pirates. A parking ship. <laughs> All right, well, Parker. Okay. So, you guys are going to be invited to... Is it a black screen for you? Oops. Mm. No. Are there any animals? Oh, well, it's a black yeah. screen for yeah. me. Hold on. We're going to We're invited to the officer's quarters. It's the first time. We get to stay in the hotel. So you can stay in the officer's quarters. Hotel. You can Does see. it have a continental breakfast? Continental <laughs> breakfast. Boy. God, I'm not interested. No. I want some bad waffles. Well, <laughs> careful what you say. Sodexo heard I'm that. I'm just being silly. Okay, Sodexo that heard that. No. Like... <laughs> that yeah. was her own reference. Yeah, everything I reference is just. Marco, you're at full <laughs> HP. Oh. You're at full HP, buddy. But yes, exactly. Blend. So Sodexo heard good. you, so they're <laughs> serving breakfast for dinner. Mm. Is it breakfast for dinner today? I don't know, but no. if it was, that would just be the biggest slap of irony. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really funny. Okay, so you guys have seven days before All this right. gets done. How do we want to spend those days? Do we want to like have an officer's meeting? Camping? Yeah, I say we have an officer's meeting. To decide what, what our goals here are. <laughs> It's a it's a team bonding. Just retreat. be my assistant for now. Yes. Yes. Let's let's open off this one. meeting with a game of one. happy trappy. Be assistant bosun. I will come. Right, we're all gonna to circle up. We're all gonna say <laughs> our names. Yeah, do some trust falls. <laughs> Good luck to whoever's my partner. I got you. I just go. Four hundred pound bear going backwards. All right, so you just want to be assistant bosun so you can come to the officers' meeting. We have the ship bird. You want a position? You don't want me to use the ship bird. Okay. The ship bird. <laughs> Squawky. Squawky. His name is Pluck. The yeah, does Pluck 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 Pirates. Does, does Pluck get his own room? He's an officer. He's going in. Apparently, he was going to stick with the bosun. Yeah, it doesn't glad all of them. I saved his life and then almost killed him by making him take a grog shot. Why did you try to feed the bird that? Because because it needed to cure his wounds. You want a little bit of snake bite in your coffee? You want some snake bite in your snake bite? 
Yeah, we're okay, the, so he said he'll just fly around. All right, we will discuss this at the next meeting. Let's name ourselves. Yeah, we need a cool name. I think the Blood Pirates works pretty well, but the because well, you're also pretty sure that when pirates. when he's done with the squibbing and things, he's going to ask if you want a different name to play, put on there. So I make a plan for you guys. Let's totally go with the Squawkity Pirates. Squawkity Pirates. Well. I think we could totally be unoriginal and just name it the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Straw hat. The Squawkity Dutchman. That's I'll tell you that as you're discussing that, you're seeing some of the work, like Richard's workers walking by, and you see them roll their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> as they what about no. Davy Jones Walker? One of them immediately like, stops and puts down his stuff and goes over to the side wall of like the building <gasps> that they work on these with. It marks a tally, and you're seeing it's like dozens of tally marks. <laughs> you got the flying one, and you got the black pearl. You're seeing names on there, they're all marked. <laughs> I'm looking at it no, for but, ideas. Fine, well, should be. That's the idea board, that's the cool name board. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. cool name board. Yeah, Go. see, the one with the most has the coolest name, so we should go with that one. Best thing you can do as a pirate in China is try and blend in with every other pirate. That's right. Don't stand out in any way. Cole, can name it the Wormwood. Cole, just, <laughs> Cole, just name it after the captain. Just <laughs> the meat pants. No. <laughs> the Archibald. No. <laughs> no. I'm right. okay with. I, I I fully support the decision to name the, the meat pants. I know, just Come on, no. No. Come on no. Tito. <laughs> Gonna stir the pot just a little bit here. That's funny. <laughs> No. It's going to take a seven-day meeting just to get our name. Basically. You know, as soon as we take that name, funds are going to start disappearing. Yeah, out of the bottom. something, something might happen. Well, but that was funny. There's going to be a Boston Tea Party up in here. <laughs> all right, so is the meeting being held right now? Yeah, this is the meeting. Too, sure. Okay, all right. So I don't know where you want to meet, in that area? Or officer's in your, quarters? In your uh, captain's quarters. Yeah, room. we meet in somebody's bedroom. Yeah, what? <laughs> In our PJs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Whoever, whoever is the officer can sleep in like the officer's quarters yeah. in the front of the ship. I'm Just going to. You and I guess whoever you want to allow in the back of the ship All in right. the captain's quarters. There's only one hammock in there, <laughs> and you've been sleeping in there every night. It feels <laughs> great. Before you have Cass. never slept. Better. Cass, you'll have access to the hammock. Damn right, I will. <laughs> As you slept, like the next night you slept in a regular hammock, and you were just so upset. Like, it's never going to feel right. You, you get, ruined yourself. You get yeah. naps. You get nap privileges. Yeah, that's all I want. All right, so. That's, that, that's the but, all right. Like a all right, uh, ye officers, what shall we name ourselves? <laughs> Yar. What shall ye name ye? Ye. Ye be. So Sundara's going to raise her hand to be like, that's, that seems like an issue that we, we should probably work out, but I was also going to say that as long as we're here, we should see about selling some of our stuff to make some money. Of course. Yeah. And probably also see if we can hire any new crew members. We do need crewmates. Yeah. I agree, but I also think that this name is very important. I, yes, <laughs> yeah. I, I agree. This name yeah. is very <laughs> important. As well. No, it's was... important. So are there like pawn shop typey things? So you guys explore this place a little bit, and uh, who's good at selling stuff? We want them to do this. Several summer. members of your crew. I will. Contraband. Yeah, quartermaster. Oh, oh, that's yeah, contraband. But I don't know. Contraband seems like a. So this place is about a village in size. There's about. I mean, you get you get to spend some time here. You learn more or less what's going on. There's about 70, 80 people here. Um, some which are employed by Rickety, like a lot of which? them are, but otherwise are like family members of those people. Some mm -hmm. people are just set up um, shops and things to cater to like pirates that come in here to get squibbed. Mm -hmm. um, you know that Rickety is pretty much the proprietor of the entire place, but his steward is Chandra Bristlewick, who is a female human um, who just kind of runs like the day to day operations. Um, you know that a guy, you haven't met him, but some guy named Lyle Godwin um, lives a ways up the coast in that stone tower that you would have seen mm -hmm. uh, to like signal the flags and things, and he doesn't come back to town very often. Um, there are some shops here. Um, there are some places where you can try and sell things. 
this place has also been under the effects of a pretty severe drought for the last month or so. So, so tensions are a little bit high, but do you guys feel like you can do some work here? Oh, fuck. Are we going to be Let's... virtuous pirates? Are we going to solve this drought? No, we're going to sell our loot, get some crew, get on our ship, and get the yeah, heck I out of this go place. To the person we have who could make, who could purify water is dead. So. <laughs> Everybody stare at Cass. Do it. Do so it. Is there anything? Y'all took your sleep back. <laughs> so you you know what? We're still alive. Like, as soon as you start letting people like go shopping and things, <laughs> everything moves very, very slowly. So is there any one of you who wants to accomplish a specific goal? I want to see if we can get some more crewmates. I want to see if the old recruiting. Okay. So we've got one strap. person who wants to get crew. Is there anyone who wants Otherwise to sell or buy anything? Part-time. I would like to buy some things. What about sell? I can do that. I can sell some of the ship stuff if we want. Like those silver ingots could probably fetch a pretty pretty. Yeah. The uh, the bigger the place you go to, the better. Yeah, that's what the I was. More you're gonna that's what I was. Sell. That's what I was wondering. I don't think this is the right. I don't think we're gonna get the best deal on some things. Here. I think so too, but. But so, you it might be able to buy some stuff. I feel like. Yeah, you could I'd rather like, wait to sell things. What than about just. So we need about six what people about our to flush out our crew that we got. Oh, like the wedding dress and stuff. Yeah, we could like sell. Because there just there's nothing really spe- too special about them. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, we can sell a few things like, like the clothes. Okay. Yeah, like not like the scrunch. Um, yeah, some of them are worth a lot of money. Some of them are not. Please don't read. Like the I have two sets of fine tailored clothes. They're not the very top of the one. Not worth that much. Not worth that much. Some of them. Yeah. I'll leave it to your judgment. Would you, would you at least go around and you're like casing yeah, the and see what they're selling? Yeah. No. Okay. So a particular interest to you yeah, that one. would be uh, some plus one leather armor, okay. plus one of the AC, um, a masterwork breastplate. <laughs> Who wants to fall to the bottom of the ocean? Plus one silver halberd. Ooh, a circlet of persuasion <laughs> okay. and a wand of healing word. Okay. Are these to buy? Yeah, yes. these are things you could buy. Okay. There's also a plus one buckler shield and a potion of fox's cunning. How much are the circlet and the plus one other armor? The circlet, I believe. You said this last time was. I have. Just they're asking for 400. Feel good. Okay. What was the other one? The plus one letter. <laughs> Be going for around. What? 850, 900. <laughs> oh, God. what'd you say? 850 or 900. Okay. Like, a, like a plus one is usually like a thousand gold just to magically enchant something to that level. Okay. I will try to talk the store keep down a little bit on uh, which one? the circlet. Okay. Can you try on the circlet real quick? <laughs> he is not going to let you put on the circlet before buying the circlet. I gotta Aww. make sure it fits me. The yeah, circlet like... is also going to take um, attunement okay. to be able to use, but like you might imagine, it would just give you advantage on persuasion checks. Oh. Anyway, Something right. tells you. In that case, eh, I ask if he has any potions. Get a potion of fox's cunning. I need healing. I have one healing potion. How much is that? Fifty gold. Okay. Ouch. Would you be interested in selling it for thirty gold? I would be interested in selling it for fifty-five gold. Oof, <laughs> death. <laughs> well, I would be much more interested in buying it at all if it were 30 gold. You will come out ahead 30 Drive gold a hard as opposed to zero. I'll sell it to you for 60. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like trying to deal with me, well, me and Monopoly. Like, no crap. If you just keep going it up, eventually they'll go to back to the original price. Like, I okay. suggest that. You sell it to you me. You give for this to me, and we'll burn your house to the ground. 
I think it's a wisdom save. Don't you mean or? Mm-hmm. I think it's a wisdom save. Or I will burn your house on the ground. Suggest. Suggest. Oh, what yeah. you to oh, yeah. Oh, that was just going to start brainwashing, like brainwashing everyone. <laughs> we'll point out this is day one. Yeah, I know. Everyone I'm allowed to make that. stupid decisions sometimes. Everybody else has. Hey. Oh. Hey, <laughs> What? Not wrong. Just that wrong. was pointed. You're right. Cast died. <laughs> You're right. Cast died. I say, I say, there's only one person who's had negative outcomes from their stupid decisions, though. Cole did it. Oh yeah, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> He's also on his second character. Second <laughs> <Rude ass. laughs> <Like a> doogie. <laughs> Rude ass. A doogie. A doogie. Oh, I thought he said doogie. I like, what's a doogie? Is it, is it, I Wait, never mind. I didn't actually take mental. So I, I thought about it. Never mind. Okay. So that answers that question. Cool. <laughs> no. Start In that out. case, yeah. have a good day, sir. You. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You are a pirate.